What's going on YouTube? Today we're taking a look at some Rhino Shield cases of the bumper variety. So for those of you that like to feel up the back of your phone, this is going to be the case for you. There's also the Mod NX, which has a clear back and it gives you a little bit more protection for those days that you want to kind of protect yourself a little bit more. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. I'll leave some links down in my description below. If I can score you guys a coupon, I'll throw it down there as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these offerings from Rhino Shield. I actually like bumper cases because it just allows you to feel the premium materials of your iPhone. And this is basically available for all iPhone variants out there. So let's just go ahead and take a look at some of these options. I get asked a lot, what's the difference between the Crash Guard and the Mod NX? And it's pretty simple, guys. It's exactly the same, same bumper style case. You can see you get a nice, you get a nice TPU type of bumper. But you also do get a clear back and you can customize this back and you can add MagSafe, you can add a design, you can get a whole bunch of different designs out there. So the only difference is really is you do get a protective back for your case, but you're still getting that slim, slim type of bumper case, still, still getting that slim type of design. So that is the only difference. I know it can be a little bit confusing to some people out there, so I just want to let you guys know about it. Now let's go ahead. There's a little bit of assembly to put together. So let me go ahead and assemble the white one really quickly. And they do have different buttons. If you want to customize your own buttons, you can customize your own buttons. But we're just going to keep it keep it pretty simple this time around. Thanks, Rhino Shield, for, for making me do the work here. But it's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and pop them right in, just like that. Not, not a big deal. Take you less than a minute to do. Let's go ahead and pop this one in. Boom. Boom. Probably took about 20 seconds. Maybe 10 if you're not on the camera yapping. But here it is. There's your cutout. So this is the bumper case. And you get a little bit of a shock absorbing design all around on the inside there. It says protect your world right on the inside as well. So pretty cool. Different colors available as well. I think the white's going to look pretty pimp with the black iPhone. Just snaps into place. Let's go ahead and push these ones back. We'll come back to them in just a little bit. But this is the bumper, the crash guard. I think this is a cool case. Again, you're getting some nice protection. You can see the back there it gives you a lot of nice protection. And it is important that it's raised a lot more than the front because you do have the you do have the protruding camera camera lenses on the on the back. So this does have to be a little bit higher on the back than on the front. But no problem if you happen to drop it. I've had this on my iPhone 15 in the past and I've dropped it. No issues. And here's your front protection. Little branding that says Rhino Shield. And your front protection again. Nice amount of front protection. Bumper case is very nice once again. I can tell you just by holding my phone, my fingers just kind of feel up the back and I can feel that tram stamp. Just gives you a satisfying feeling in the hand to feel that premium material that Apple wanted you to feel. Now I'm not able to go raw dog. It's not something I'm able to do. I'm just a little bit too paranoid. I guess if I lived in a suburban area where there wasn't too much going on, but here in a metropolitan area like New York, constantly people bumping into you, the subway is crowded AF, and it's just not a place where you want to kind of not use any type of protection on your phone. So I, I like the bumper because it just gives you a satisfying type of feel when you pick up the phone. A couple of facts that I've noticed about these crash guards over the years that I've been using them. Number one is you'd think this would feel super slim in your hand. And it does feel really light. It does not add a whole bunch of weight. It actually does feel super light. But due to the nature that you kind of have this deep, deep, deep back because of that camera protection, in your hand, you still feel like you're holding a regular case. It doesn't give you that slim type of naked type of feel, but you do get that lighter feel from other cases out there. So that's one thing that I have noticed, and I just wanted to pass on my experience to you guys just to let you know in case you were thinking about picking up a crash guard. But I like the crash guard again because the main the main thing is you want to you want to feel that premium glass on the back. You just it's just a satisfying feel. Am I right? It's, it's just a very nice satisfying feel. And of course, most of your MagSafe accessories are going to work unless your accessory is wider than the back portion here. I have a little battery pack. You can see it fits pretty nicely. So no doubt about it when it comes to these accessories. So this is the crash guard in white. Very nice co color combination. It is very secure on your phone. There's a snugness test and you want this to be secure and tight. Edges are normal like this. They do, they, they're like this on all of their designs and it's just to provide an easier way to get this phone case out. But the corners, very snug, no doubt about it. And now we're gonna do the transformation from the crash guard to the Mod NX. Pretty simple, nice clear back with MagSafe. 
All you need to do once you remove that protective film, just kind of slide it into the back. And there are grooves inside of the crash guard. They're going to keep this in place. And once you put your phone inside, it basically seals the deal just like so. There we go. Snap it in. And now you get the Mod NX. You can see the difference. Again, just gives you a little bit more protection. You can see that back there. You get a really good amount of back protection with this case. And again, now you're going to feel like it's an actual case in your hand. Front protection, of course, is the same. But for those of you that want that, that more protective back, wow, and a strong magnet. Very strong. Much stronger than last year. Kudos to you guys over at Rhino Shield. Wow, that's super strong. Yep. Pretty cool case. So again, I like this Mod NX. You can have... You can have more protection when you need it and less protection when you don't. That's the name of the game. Camera button, sloping design, so you're able to use this camera button. You can see here you're able to use it, so no doubt about it. Works perfectly well. Here are your cutouts. Good, good cutouts. Awesome. So let me just show you a couple different colors really quickly. This is the one in black, and I did a little bit of color swapping in the black and white combo. Nice Oreo combo. Looks pretty sweet in my opinion. Let me know what you think about this. Nice color matched. So this is the black. Nice Dark Knight edition with a little bit of color pop. Who doesn't like a little bit of color pop? Now this is not slippery. These are not slippery bumper cases. They actually fit pretty perfectly in the palm of your hand. So not slippery at all. And I'll show you the graphite for those of you that want to on a graphite edition again really snug on your device it's what you want from a bumper i might have to go behind the camera and here's the graphite edition again any of these crash guards can be turned into the mod nx just by just by purchasing that extra extra back cover graphite looks pretty pimp on the black as well i'm actually actually digging this color cinematic video not right now but this is the graphite with the matching buttons. Again, I changed up the, the buttons and I put a black button button pack. And yep, that looks a lot better in my opinion. But again, preference is preference. I like that differentiating color. Again, I, will, I actually really like this one now. The black matches my phone. The white is just pimp. Who doesn't like a white case? Very, very nice looking. So yep, that, that black accent did it for me. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty, pretty cool. This has been a look at the Crash Guard and the Mod NX series from Rhino Shield. Pretty cool cases for those of you that want to feel the premium materials of your devices. Keep things a little bit thinner and still get a very decent amount of protection. Let me know what you think again. I'm digging that color pop action, that little differentiating contrasting button. I really appreciate you guys watching. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in another video.